Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Charles, and today we're going to be doing part three of our cloud detection lab in Azure. So far, we've been able to set up our Azure resources, that being our log analytics workspace, virtual machine, and Sentinel instance. We've been able to implement some network and virtual machine security best practices through the usage of just-in-time access, as well as network security groups. We have also been able to set up data connectors in preparation for bringing data into Sentinel for analysis via the use of the Windows Security Event Data Connector. And today we're going to be looking at those Windows Security Event logs more in depth, as well as finding out how we can observe those in our sim. So if you go to Azure and type in virtual machines at the top, select your virtual machine and you should be greeted, greeted with this page over here. First thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and start your virtual machine. I've already started mine. From there, go to your connect tab. Set up your uh, virtual machine to take connections from only your IP. Go ahead and request access. Navigate back to your overview tab. Copy and paste your public IP address. And now you're going to use a remote desktop client to connect to your VM. So if you're on a Windows device, that's going to be Remote Desktop Connection. Go ahead and put your IP address inside the computer name. Put your password and username in that you used when you created your admin account earlier in the series. Go ahead and click yes. All right, so once you log in, you're not gonna get this automatically. All right, minimize that. Once you get to your homepage, what you wanna do is come over here and type in event viewer. You're going to click Windows Logs. We have several different types of logs. Logs are just kind of a record of things that are happening on your device, so at this point, a virtual machine. So you got application logs, security logs, setup, system, and forwarded events. Our concern in this lab is security, so we're going to go ahead and click Security Events. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. And as you can see, each one of these represents a security event that's going on on our virtual machine. So if we click one of these security events, we go ahead and click this one. This says an account was successfully logged on. So one of these times that I logged into my virtual machine, the system logged that and you get some information such as what logs it, it it belongs to so it belongs to the security logs the event id so every security event corresponds to a specific id so every time there's a successful log on that corresponds to event id 4624 the computer happened on so our virtual machine name lab vm get some additional information here's just process id network information all that good stuff that could be helpful in some potential investigation. If we want to take a look at another event. We can scroll down. Let's take a look at event 4672. So we double click that. This one says special privileges assigned to new logon. So I am logging on via my admin account. So 
once I logged in, kind of saw that it was my admin account and then assigned the necessary privileges. So here you can see the privileges that are assigned once at login and all the other information that we had from the other the other event is present as well. So where our SIM comes in is that instead of having to come into this virtual machine and pull this information from Windows Event Viewer, we can actually see this information in our SIM. And where that, you, where that is useful is because typically in a SIM, you're gonna be keeping track of lots of different devices, right? Several endpoints, virtual machines, if you're in the cloud, other cloud resources, such as maybe databases or containers, all that good stuff. So it's a lot more convenient to be able to pull that information from one location as opposed to go to several different data sources and pull the information we're looking at now. So we're going to go back to Sentinel. As you can see, now we actually have some events. Uh, last time, if you watched our last video, we didn't have any events, but because of the data connector that we set up and uh, us actually generating some activity on that virtual machine, we now have some events to look at in our logs. So we're going to come to the log section. And once you get in the log section, we're going to go over this a lot more in depth in our next video. But basically every SIM, so in this case Sentinel, has a search language that you use to interact with the logs that you are keeping track of. So in this case for Sentinel, the search language will be something called KQL, which stands for Custom Query Language. So in Custom Query Language, the first thing we need to do is get the source of our logs. So that's going to be the uh, security event table. So we're just going to type in security event. And then we have a lot of different uh, options that you can use or commands. And one of them that's really common is called where. So basically it just filters certain uh, areas in the event table. So we're gonna click where and we want event ID. So let's type that in. Equals equals. All right, so real quick before I run this query, basically what this is doing is searching for things from the security event table from our Windows Virtual Machine. And we want anything that has an event ID of 4624. If you remember, that's our successful login. So we're gonna go ahead and click Run. And as you can see, here are examples or instances of all the successful logins to our virtual machine. Some of the information we get by default is when it happened, the account it came from. So you can see some of them is me, others is some system logins. You can see the computer that it happened on, the event source name. We scroll over to the right, we get the event ID, 4624, and account was successfully logged on. So that's a really basic uh, query that we can use to get information about something that happened on our virtual machine. Another cool feature in Sentinel is that maybe we don't want all these fields. We only want the time that it happened, the computer that it happened on, and the account, as opposed to all these different fields that it was presented us with. What we can do is use another command called project. And this will only provide us uh, fields that we specify. So for instance, if we want time generated, go ahead and type in time generated. The computer name. And maybe we want the account. Go ahead and run that query.
Now, as you can see, we've been able to narrow our search and we only have the time that it came, the computer, and the account that the logon came from. So that's the conclusion of this video. Uh, if you found this helpful, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.